Hi friends, in this video we are going to see how to parameterize in TrueClient. There are multiple ways of doing parameterization but this video will tell you which way is simple and effective. To demonstrate parameterization we are going to script a simple scenario for the uh, ToDo app. So ToDo app is based on AngularJS where you can add your ToDo items and you can mark it as complete, you can delete it. right? So I'm not going to record any steps. So what I do is uh, I manually add steps and then I manually select the end events. So this will give you the flexibility and also uh, it will give you a confidence whether the script will be fine uh, for the next uh, build or upcoming regression tests. Okay. So first step is to add the uh, generic browser action which will uh, invoke the website so it will always uh, uh, covered in double quotes okay so this is my uh, first step and i'm going to hit play and as an end event i'm going to uh, select object exist and i'm going to add a header or text box okay so next step is I'm going to type a, a sample uh, to do item. For that, I'm going to add a generic object action. Okay. So in this, I'm going to change the action as type and the argument is learn performance testing. Okay. And the next step is I'm going to add another uh, step so do not copy and paste always make a new step and i'm going to change the action to type and sorry action as uh, press key and the argument as uh, enter okay so now i'm going to run the whole script So now it is entering the, the to-do item. Okay, so there's a spelling mistake. So we'll just correct it here. Okay, so now you would like to uh, parameterize the uh, to-do uh, items. Okay, so the, the very simple way is to use parameterization okay here you need to uh, go to the value go to the step which has the value which you need to parameterize and select the uh, uh, type as parameter name okay then click on that icon it will open the uh, dialog box and here you can give the my to do items just no need to cover any uh, uh, quotation marks so just the parameter name and hit ok now save the script and close it now double click on the parameters and click on new and give the name so whatever the name you gave in the script just give the same parameter name here and press enter and hit create table and hit edit with notepad and here you can add all the to do items okay and hit save make sure that you are end of the cursor is in the new line hit close and so let it be default all the uh, other options and hit close save it and go to runtime settings click on run logic and enter the number of iterations as three hit save click on develop script
okay now hit run so it should iterate three times and every time it should enter a new uh, to do item yeah now it picked the first item buy milk and it's entering the uh, second uh, items and the third one so this is the uh, one of the simple way of doing parameterization so if you don't want uh, uh, select parameter name as the value type so you can always go for uh, javascript so what you can do is expand the uh, the type wherever uh, the parameter name is uh, available and change the type as uh, javascript and hit javascript and here you can enter tc dot get param and in double quotes enter the parameter name and hit ok okay now if you run the script this also will fetch the value from the parameter list and then it will enter it accordingly So if you don't want uh, tc dot get param, you can use still use uh, another uh, way is uh, another function is lr dot get param. So just edit and instead of tc have lr and now run your script. So this also will fetch the value from the parameter list. and in true client uh, standalone and in true client light version uh, you will get a parameter dialog box in the true client itself where you can add the columns uh, and you can edit it uh, and you can name your parameters so those features also available in the uh, true client standalone and true client light version so you can if you have a light version in your uh, mac you can uh, use the parameter dialog box in true client okay so i hope this video is helpful to someone so please do subscribe to my uh, qa insights channel for more such tips and tricks thank you